Hello, Aries, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Reading. Today, Aries, I'll be doing a reading on the person that broke your heart. This reading is intended to give you closure and most of all, clarity. So if that resonates with you, then this reading is definitely for you. So thank you, Aries. I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. Let's get started with your reading. If you still want to be added to our early bird discounted course, our master tarot course, email us your interest. We will add you to our discounted list at fifigigitarot at gmail.com. All the information is down below in the description box. Thank you, Aries. Let's get started. Let's begin. What is it that you need to know in regards to this heartbreak, please? Aries, behind the deck, we have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is the card of true love here. You may be in a situation where you thought it was absolutely true love. This thing could have gone so much further. This is like the ultimate partnership. But perhaps there is happiness somewhere else for you. There's love for you somewhere else. We're going to have to get more, cl more clarification with this reading because we need to see if it's talking about someone in your past or someone new. Mm, no, we have the Ace of Cups, brand new beginnings, someone that you're currently working with. Yeah, but this person made you feel very trapped, imprisoned, unfortunately. So this is definitely someone from your past, someone that you could have had a brand new beginning with, but at the same time, they made you feel very trapped. They made you feel imprisoned in this relationship. So let's begin, Aries. Let's have a look at your cards, how you felt about this person. Oh, wow. So we do have the Tower, Three of Swords, oops, and the Eight of pentacles interesting so the tower the tower you can just i mean this the image on this card is pretty much self-explanatory it speaks volume too there's something that just wasn't working and it came crashing down here no matter how tr perhaps you kind of like already sensed it perhaps you were kind of saw it coming also but the foundation of this relationship was just not strong enough to hold. It wasn't working here. And unfortunately, when we do see the tower, it's like the inevitable. It's go it was going to help happen. But you can always rebuild. There's something that we need to remember with the tower. We can always rebuild. We can have happiness somewhere else. We can have love and experience true love. Definitely. Now, my least favorite card, I can clearly see here. Three of Swords. This is the heartbreak card. You have experienced absolute heartbreak. This person, the way you see this person has caused heartbreak with the Three of Swords. And the thing is, something that we need to understand, when we do see the Three of Swords, nobody wins. Everybody gets hurt. Everybody gets hurt. Now, this could have been due to your partner's could have been a number of things because the Three of Swords does show a third-party intrusion. Could have been this person's family, this person's friends, this person's attitude and behavior. Maybe this person was full of secrets, was unemotionally available, just, um, sorry, um, emotionally unavailable. So again, this person mm -mm, caused a lot of heartache, caused a lot of grief and sadness here. But you also have the eight of pentacles here. Look at you, Aries. You've got your head down in the books. It's like you've got, it's like you're moving on, but also studying at the same time. You've got your head down in the books. It's like you're learning a, a new skill. You're learning something new. Now, even this, what happened here was a huge learning lesson for you. Le learning lesson for you. Aries, at the same time, I feel like for some of you, you've moved on. You're like learning something, you're upgrading your skills, you're doing something for yourself, which is absolutely excellent. I love that. Let's have a look at <clears throat> this person's cards. How did this person feel about you? Okay, so we do have the King of Swords. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So this person was probably most likely an air sign. We're talking about Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra here. This person may have been a little bit impatient also, a little bit, um, can come across a little bit cold, can come across a little bit, yeah, not just impatient, but a little bit uh, kind of like demanding because this person was probably in a very high position. This person probably was running their own business, just um, trying to get ahead in life. And again, I can clearly see that this person definitely had money. This person had money in their business or perhaps where they were working, but lots of it too. Like it was to the point that they were pr pretty much well off. But they also have the two of swords here. They're unable to make a decision here, or they were unable to make a decision here. They were just procrastinating here. There's a lot of fears here. This person's got a bit of fears here. Perhaps facing the truth, facing, yeah. This person, it's like, um, when we do see the two of swords, like they're, they're crossing here, they're, they're crossing, they're closing their eyes and they're like, I can't make a decision here. I feel like they just, they don't want to deal or face the reality that that's happened here because notice that the eyes are covered. It's like, you don't want to face the truth. You don't want to face the reality. You just want to turn your head away. You want to look somewhere else here. Let's have a look. What are the messages here? We have the full Move this up a bit. Sorry, Aries. The Fool, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands here. So the Fool is the card of innocence. It's about the innocence. It's the first card in the Major Arcanas here. It's about taking chances. It's about, yeah. Notice that it does cross this person's line and your line. Perhaps there is a chance for this relationship. I, I have a feeling this per person perhaps didn't act in the best way and they're trying to be cool about it and perhaps they're thinking, you know what, if I let Aries calm down a bit, they might take me back. You also have the Ace of Pentacles here. With your heartbreak, this person, there could be a brand new beginning with you too. We also have the page of wands. I would not be surprised if this person does message you, Aries, because notice that you've got the page of wands, your person that represents this person, him or her here, and the tower here. This person might reach out, talk about the breakup, talk about what went wrong, kind of like clear the air. But I do feel though with the nine of pentacle, this person's acting really cool and casual, very collected. It's like, Aries, you're still you're still heartbroken over that. Like they're trying to like just be really cool about it. That's what I'm seeing here. Let's have a look at your confirmation cards here, please. have a look. What does Aries need to know? So Aries, the tower, that's been confirmed with judgment. Uh -huh. This is resurrection. Now, because it is on your line, Aries, I feel like you're going to be making a judgment call. You're going to be perhaps, because this person, there's a high chance this person is going to reach out to you, Aries you'll be making a judgment call. Whether you want to excuse this person's actions, whether you want to hear this person out, but 
in other words, Aries, you're going to be holding the power in this in this instance. You're going to be the one to say, do I really want to hear you out? Do I really want to listen to your BS? Do I really want to go through this again? The Three of Swords. The lovers, see? Yeah, you definitely guys were absolute lovers here. The ultimate partnership. You matched and mirrored each other. This is absolutely a beautiful card. But yet there was heartbreak here, something that didn't work out here, unfortunately. You'll be making the judgment call here. You've got major arcanas here. The Eight of Pentacles, the King of Cups here. So yep, I can clearly see what's happening here. So what's happening here, you're really looking after yourself, Aries. You're looking after your physical body and your mental mind. You're being very kind and gentle to yourself. It's like you're really taking charge of your life now. It's like, you know what? This happened. That's okay. I'm going to look after myself. I'm going to really put myself first now. You're going to put yourself first above anything else because why? You've gone through a really bad breakup now. Now it's time more than ever to really look after yourself, to put yourself first, to really just in all essence, just really take care of yourself. Your other person, how they feel about you. So they've got the King of Swords. You've got the Knight of Wands. Now, I'm not surprised that this has come out. I was hoping, it's like, it's weird. I'm, I should be seeing some Knight coming up because you've got Judgment here. That is just above the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is communication, changes, transitions, offers, opportunities. This person is definitely going to reach out to you with an offer, you will be making the judgment call on that. Absolutely, Aries. You're going to be in the position of power where you want to hear this person out, whether you want to take them back or not. It will be completely your choice here. The Nine of Pentacles, also the Emperor. So the Emperor is already showing me that this person had to grow up a bit. This person had to step up because the Emperor is all the kings wrapped up in one. So the big message here for your person, listen, it's time to grow up. It's time to be more disciplined, more structured. Think about your actions. Think about your behaviors to, for how you act with other people here. So I feel like even your person had to go away for a bit. They needed to have time alone to grow up a bit, to think about their actions. The Two of Swords. Okay, so we do have the star here. So there's a lot of wishful thinking here. There's a lot of I wish, I wish, I wish, but they hold themselves back with the two of swords because there's a lot of fears. This this person is keep, like this person's fears are keeping them a little bit idle. They, but they've got the star, so that's going to be temporary. That's not going to last for long. They will move on eventually. But again, this person is kind of like wishing, oh, God, I wish I didn't do that. I wish things worked out. I wish I took care of Aries more. But they will be coming back. This is unfinished business. I'm telling you right now, this person is going to reach out to you. Now we have the fool. We have to be careful with the fool sometimes. Ah, Ace of Pentacles. You're going to. You're definitely going to hear this person out. The Ace of Pentacles is brand new beginnings. I feel like this person is going to be very honest. They're going to come clean and really open their heart. They're going to. This person, like that, that's why they've got the fool. They're going to take that action. They've got the Ace of Pentacles. You've got the Ace of Pentacles twice. Now, what I'm seeing here, this relationship, I can't believe I'm saying this, possibly does have a chance to work again. Let's have a look. Let's the Ace of Pentacles also with the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles. Even though, yes, the Queen of uh, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, which is yes, brand new beginnings, solid brand new beginnings. You're going to be setting boundaries. You're going to be setting things that you're not going to tolerate because usually the Queen of Pentacles, she's got a good head on her shoulders. She won't tolerate BS. She will. She's got a very warm person, very kind, but at the same time, she expects people to act responsibly, respectfully, people to be loyal, people to be honest. So you're going to be actually stepping up, Aries, like the Queen of Pentacles and setting boundaries, really being honest and telling this other person things that you will and will not tolerate. The Page of Wands also confirmed with the Four of Pentacles. So there will be messages coming your way 
but you will be keeping this person at a distance first. Of course, you want to, you don't want to get hurt again. I completely understand because this person is not revealing the next intention. They're not revealing the next move. Um, they, they're just, it's like they, okay, I will hear you out. I will go away. I will think about it and I will let you know that, that kind of energy that we're picking up. So what are you going to do? What is the, what else do we need to know? So we do have the ace of wands here. I feel like this relationship has a chance. The ace of wands is igniting that passion and that love again. Um, I'm going to be honest. If you had a lot of swords, a lot of negative major arcanas, I would say, Aries, you know what? You might want to reconsider. You might want to think about it if you want to take this person back. But you know what, though? This person is definitely worth hearing out. This person is worth giving them a second chance because you do have beautiful aces here. You've got the ace of pentacles. You've got the ace of pentacles twice. When that comes out from two different decks, it's re it's affirming that the this reading, because remember, the cards do not lie. It's affirming that this relationship does have a chance. There's light at the end of the tunnel, just like the star. There's still light. There is that string of hope that your your person is holding on to. This is what they're, they're doing. They're holding on to a string of hope like the star and wishing, thinking, come on, Aries, just give me a chance. Hear me out. And notice someone, I just want you to notice something. You have the fool with the ace of pentacles that crosses the emperor and the king of cups. So both of you are really stepping up like kings and queens, like major court cards here. Notice that the lovers, the emperor, and the queen here. So we are adapting. We are changing into better people, more leaders in the sense, well, wait a second. Sometimes it's good to reflect in the relationship and say, okay, the positive and the negative. So I feel like with you, Aries, you'd be like, you know what? There are some things that I want changes with. There are things that I'm going to change with in order to make this work. Because this has made you grow. It made you, it gave you experience and life lessons. And even though this person may have caused some heartache, yes, this person is definitely going to come back. They're going to reach out to you somehow. You'll be making a judgment call. But I feel like you're going to be following your heart because you do have the Ace of Pentacles. This relationship does can see the light of day. I would definitely give this person another chance. And even though the behavior is inexcusable, I, I, and I get that, but this person is going to redeem themselves. This person is really going to change. This person is really going to make a difference with you, Aries. And I feel like they need, they need to explain. That's why you've got the page of wands. You've got the knight here. This person is going to come clean because when we do see the King of Swords, the King of Swords speaks from their head. They they don't bring emotions. They speak exactly what's on their mind. They're very analytical, very straight. So they're going to bring a lot to the table. It may be a little bit hard to listen to, but I feel like it will definitely give you clarity. So let me say this again, Aries. Even though there has been heartbreak in the past, there can definitely be love for the future here. You can definitely have this again. But it will require both of you to sit down, listen to each other, but most of all, set boundaries and things that you will no longer tolerate. If anything, I do feel for both of you, this was a learning opportunity. That's why you do have the Eight of Pentacles. But most of all, it was a huge learning for your partner here. Absolutely. So overall, Aries, remember, power to you. You will be making the judgment call on this relationship. Power to you. I hope you have a beautiful day, Aries, and I will see you at the next reading.